Objectives, super objectives and stakes are three key ideas that you can apply to any acting you do, and they're some of the most important fundamentals of Stanislavski's method. Let's start with objectives and super objectives. What are they? A super objective is something that your character needs in their life, a life goal, an overarching aim or goal for the whole play or their whole life. Some examples of super objectives might be, I need fame and fortune, I need to be loved, I need to find a long lost sibling, I need to believe in myself. We all have them as human beings and every character does too. Think about your own life, what are your super objectives? Then put yourself in your character's shoes. What are their super objectives? When acting, it's hard to perform a scene when focusing on the super objective. These are often huge ideas and difficult to play in the moment. So we play objectives. Our objectives feed in to our super objective. An objective is a smaller, more attainable thing to desire and target in a scene. Ask yourself, what does your character need in this scene? Is it, I need to kiss this person? I need to get away from this person. I need to belittle this person. I need to find out the truth from this person. You as the character have an objective or several objectives, and you arrive at the start of the scene aiming to achieve or complete them in the scene. Objectives are sometimes called wants, but I think that word isn't as useful as another word to us. I prefer the word need. Take this sentence, I want a cup of coffee, versus I need a cup of coffee. The word need makes it feel urgent and the stakes are increased. I want feels incidental and small, like I want a Mars bar or I want to go outside. I need feels vital and pressing. I need to leave. I need you to apologize. I need you to love me. These all feel critical and active. The word want suggests that you're in control of it, whereas the word need suggests that it's in control of you. We will always work harder to achieve an objective if it's something that we need. Stakes are a crucial idea in acting. You'll often hear phrases like, what's at stake in this scene? Or, this is a high stakes situation. Stakes basically mean what's to gain and what's to lose. Let me give you a crystal clear example. Imagine that your character needs to kiss another character because they love them and that's their objective in the scene. However, the other character is in a relationship with someone else. What's to gain is that your character will have a moment of intimacy, briefly kissing them. Perhaps your character has longed for this person for months, years or decades. The other character may reciprocate and be relieved by you making the first move. They may leave the person they're with to be with you. What's to lose is that they could reject you. They could hit you or hurt you physically. They could disown you and hate you for making them cheat on their partner. High stakes makes for high drama. And high drama is conflict. Conflict is exciting to play as an actor and to watch as an audience. With any character in any scene or monologue, think what your super objective is, what your objective is, and what's at stake for you. What can you gain? And what can you lose? You can then play these ideas in the scene. How do you do this? By using tactics to overcome obstacles. Check out this next video on obstacles and tactics. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do on the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.